Hey Stampers, it's Maggie from ilovepapercrafts.com. I'm here today with a simple stamping video for you. So today I'm going to show you the secret of tying this kind of bow. And let me tell you, going back in time, about five years ago I went to an event and I had been doing cards of my own. And I learned how to do this and it just changed my crafting because I think if you've ever seen any of my creations, I use a lot of ribbon. So what I'm going to actually show you is this is a card that's gone out and it's featured in the Simple Stamping Secrets Card Making Basics ebook. That is a mouthful. Next time I do an ebook, I'm going to have to give it a simpler name, aren't I? So I'm going to show you how to tie the bow. So you're going to need just a normal piece of cardstock. So this cardstock is standing in for this piece here. And then we're going to use the Whisper White Taffeta Ribbon from Stampin' Up. So I'm just going to take my super sharp scissors, cut that off. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of snail there, a little bit of snail there. And you're just going to take and put that across your card. And then because I don't want to create any extra lump, just trim that off. And it is important you have some super sharp scissors. These are the craft scissors from Stampin' Up. Don't you love my scissor charm? You can learn how to do that over on my blog at ilovepapercrafts.com. So once you've got your ribbon on there, notice that I have not added tape here. I can stick my hand right in there. And the reason for that is you're just going to take another little piece and you're just going to put this back through. And this is really a cheater bow. If you're looking for fancy bows, I am not your lady. So you're just going to tie that into a knot and you're just going to make sure that you keep this part See that part? You're just going to try to keep that part flat. You may have to play with it a little bit. And then you're just going to trim with your scissors. And that's it. That is your secret to making a bow comme ça. Now, that's French for all my non-French speaker friends. To do that end, let me show you. Again, I learned a stamp up event. I tell you, I wasn't a crafty girl before I stamped. You're just going to fold it in half, and I like to secure with two fingers like that, and cut up. And that gives you that tail. And that's also going to give you that perfectly matched thing. Now one thing to remember when you're working with ribbon is, a ribbon like the white taffeta is nice because it's very pliable. Some of the other ribbons are stiffer, so you're going to have a harder time tying a bow. So think about that when you're planning your project. Anyways, if you have any questions about tying bows or any other, anything else simple stamping related, or even more complicated, you can always email me at maggieatilovepapercrafts.com. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So just hit the subscribe button below this video. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.